All right, Navajas, listen up. Do not be drawn towards our cruisers. If you hit any flak, pull out immediately. This is Delta. We're inbound on the target. Check master arm. Alpha, take out Aquarius wing pronto. Beta wing, bangs out. Ready to go for BFM advantage. This is the Indus. Captain Harwood has verified the Churchill's readiness and we are inbound. We've only got one chance at this, so let's hit the Meridian before she can jump. Finally, some payback. I'll bet the Akala and Ron Fear will rest easier when we're done gutting this destroyer. Gutting it? That thing looks like a city. It's too huge to gut. I can't believe the Tebs have two dozen of these. Gravity, you two. I need you to stay alert. If you're badly hit, pull back to the frigates and call a support ship to rearm you. Roger. One. Pilots, the Juarez is providing tag support to Tev forces. Admiral Byrne is sorting the Vilnius as a distraction. Vilnius here. We've miscalculated our jump coordinates. We're in the center of the Tev battle group and require immediate assistance. Alpha-1, request permission to assist the Vilnius. Target shows armor fatigue. Maintain 
Roger that. As they sister as it's going to get. If you get a break, people, rearmor and reload. We're in night fight range, Churchill. I'll mass drivers to continuous rapid fire. <laughs> Forces have all withdrawn, pilots. Return to the Indus and stand by for further orders. We're updating our strategic plots. Kasim, report. Are you all right? Sound off. I... Christ, Carla. I think I hit a man after he ejected. I can't tell if that's blood on my wing or carbon scoring. I can't keep my hands steady. I'm okay. I'm okay. Holy fuck. I'm alive. <laughs> Typical first fleet. Just living through a fight is a pleasant surprise. Don't get cocky, Rook. Why, Captain Sim, do you sound threatened? Am I infringing on your territory? Or your kill count? Ease up, Rook. You're on a combat. That in mind before you start mouthing off to superior officers. Rook! Give me your tally, Sims, and let's compare. Or are you just gonna pull rank and back down? It's in the court. Discipline. You'll see the next mission out in the stockade. Sir, I'm sorry for the breach of discipline. Sir, you're absolutely correct. It's my first time in major combat. Excuse my nerves. For what it's worth, you did well. Stay on your game, and I live to know love you again. It's charming, on our ship. It's a date, sir. If you're ever on board the Solaris, just let me know. I'd be happy to show you around. Let's go. 
us for that crack at Captain Sims. But hell, we did win. You earned it. All pilots, Indus Tactical. We've received the withdrawal order. Intel reports a Teb strike force on its way to eliminate us. Let's get out of here! Welcome back to the Solaris pilot. I apologize for the enthusiasm of the deck crews. I'll make this briefing quick so you can wash the champagne off your flight suits. You should all be very proud. While we were unable to destroy the Meridian, our strike succeeded in forcing the destroyer to withdraw. Intelligence tells us that the Meridian has pulled back to Delta Serpentis. Better yet, the General Assembly is so displeased with Admiral Severanti's blunder here that they've relieved him of command and placed steel in control of the Solar Theater. The victory has important strategic ramifications. The GTBA is unlikely to take such bold action in the future without ensuring that additional destroyers are available for reinforcement. The more forces the GTBA holds back to reinforce endangered destroyers, the fewer ships they'll have attacking on the front line. Incidentally, Admiral Calder of the Jovian Rim Fleet happens to disagree with this assessment. Now that Admiral Severanti is no longer in the Terran theater, Calder contends that Admiral Steele of the GTD Atreus will have free reign to use more aggressive tactics. If the Jovian's right, we should all brace for worse to come. Of course, Murphy had his way with our battle plan. As most of you know, the UEC Vilnius misjumped during its attack on the GTCV Juarez and was lost with all hands. This is a war. People die. What's important is that we made those deaths worth it. But that doesn't always make it easy to cope. We will remember our loss at tonight's ceremony of the fall. Those of you on the Meridian attack should take the next few days to rest. Make sure your sleep cycles are good, and see a combat psycho on Ubuntu Spiritualist if you need counseling. I expect to see all of you at the Ceremony of the Fallen tonight, where we will honor our dead and, in the spirit of Ubuntu, those GTBA pilots and crew people who died fighting against us. Additionally, it's my sad duty to report the deaths of Flight Lieutenant Javier Cosolito, Sub-Lieutenant Ambiro Gapa, and Onsign Tyra Crash Emir. These pilots served the Solaris well and died protecting Earth. Their deaths are doubly bitter because, like so many of the First Fleet's pilots, they were reservists. If any of you would like to add to their remembrances during the Ceremony of the Fallen, please inform me.